With the Christmas holidays already behind us and a full new year up ahead, if you're like me, you might be already planning your new holidays and trips and you might be thinking, how am I gonna, how can I carry my cigars? How am I gonna take them on holidays and make sure they arrive sound and safe so I can enjoy some good sticks? Well, today I'm gonna be sharing my cigar travel pack of 2023. When I travel, I normally take a backpack. And at the moment, this backpack is my favorite. It looks good, it's comfortable when I'm wearing it, and I can fit my iPad, all my tech, my passport, my things, but most importantly, my cigar travel pack. This is what I call my cigar travel pack. This is what I carry my cigars. And this is just a sick case with collaboration with Supreme. I love the color. Uh, I, I wanted it since I saw it. That was my idea. Have my cigars here because when you're going through customs and sometimes they take it of you, they want to check, they want to make sure nothing dodgy is going on. You know, you can always see where your case is. And even when you go on holiday, you know, sometimes you place it. You know where your cigars are. This stands out a lot. But the color is not important. What is important is the strength. This is a metal case, so very strong. And it has a rubber seal inside, which keeps the humidity inside. And that is what you need on something like this. Now, let's see what I normally carry. And I've narrowed it down to these items after traveling and trying many things. I used to take a lot of stuff. I've seen people taking those big travel uh, humidors with 30, 40, 50 cigars. And that's all right. I think if you're going you know, to an event, something like that, that is needed. But for me, normally, I will try and do some research. So if I'm going to a place like London, for example, there's no point of taking 20, 30 cigars because there are plenty of cigar shops in London. I can buy cigars there. If I'm going to anywhere else, again, I'll do some research. Uh, places like um, like Madeira that I went to a couple of times last year, it's quite hard to find cigars. So I found that taking a case like this, I can take enough cigars that will last me. Normally I go for a week or two weeks, enough cigars for me. And if I find any cigars, wherever I'm going, then I'll buy some and then that's plenty. You have to tailor to your needs. But for me, after trying so many things, this is what works. I normally take a lighter because you need a lighter, obviously, to light your cigars. I like taking this uh, double jet lighter from Toro Puro, which is the one that we sell on, on a shop. It's a disposable lighter because normally lighters get lost a lot, a lot more often than a cutter, for example. The other thing that I take, obviously, is a cigar cutter. Now, this one is a Studio Pond one. But the reason why I take this, apart from having a bit of red that goes with a the theme, is that I'm getting, for the same space of a normal cutter normally, I am getting two cutters, straight cut and a beat cut. So a normal straight cut is normally about this size. And when you're packing everything in a small container like this, you have to think about size a lot. This one is perfect. V cut, straight cut, very sharp, look good, goes with a the theme, with a the color, and it has a nice weight to it, saves up space. And if I decide I want a V cut, or it's, I know that a cigar um, benefits from having a V cut or straight cut, then this is the answer. Just tell, take this one out, and I'm happy to go with that anywhere, any holiday. Another thing that I take that I used to think it was a bit of a waste of time or a gimmick is this tool over here, it looks like a torch, but taking this also gives me two extra cutters. So I have a, a bigger punch over here, smaller punch over here. So within these two items, I have all the cutters I need, straight V cut punch. On top of that, because this is a multi-tool, I also get a draw tool. So sometimes when you go to um, very humid places or maybe your cigar just wasn't rolled properly, it happens. You need a draw tool, you just put it into your cigar. It creates a nice channel so your air goes through, smoke goes through and you're able to enjoy your cigar. It's not a necessity, but it does come in handy. Same as the other side. So on the other side, what this tool has is a cigar holder. 
Sometimes you are enjoying that cigar so much or it's the last cigar that you have on your holiday. You don't want to waste it. You punch it and you smoke it all the way to the bottom. It comes in handy, not a necessity. Again, I have it in my pack because as I have it, I might as well take it. And it doesn't take up too much space. It's quite thin, it looks like a little torch. Metal, again, black, fits the theme. Now, this case is perfect. It's strong, keeps the humidity inside, but you don't want to go everywhere with this. It takes up a lot of space and sometimes you just want to go light and just take, I don't know, two, three cigars and a lighter and just go out. You don't want to take all of this. So I like to take a three cigar case. This is another one that we sell over at toropuro.shop. It's a forged carbon fiber, very strong. So if you put it in your front pocket, even your back pocket, I had it on my back pocket, forgot about it, sat in the car, not a problem. It's very strong, forged carbon fiber, very thin. And that is something that I like because I have many of these cases but some of them are leather and they're very thick and other ones are different materials and they're thick. This is thin. And what I normally do to save us space and take more cigars is fill it in with cigars, three cigars, close it, put it on this corner over here and it doesn't take up more space than just the three cigars. I put everything in its place and I can normally fit with the three cigars in here and the space around it, I can normally fit up to about 10 cigars. For me, that's all right, because I don't smoke cigars every day either. So if I have 10 cigars, I'm going on a holiday for a week, week and a half, two weeks, that's plenty. And normally, most places you can also buy cigars. So if I run out, I can always run out and you know buy another five pack or something to keep me going. But this is what works for me. If you want to know which cigars I normally take with me or how many or how I arrange them, then make sure you subscribe because in a couple of weeks, I'm going to wait for a week and a half and I'm going to put this together again, fill it in with cigars. And I want to do a video explaining which cigars and why I take these cigars with me on a holiday. If I'm going to a place that I know I won't be able to find cigars and it's longer than two weeks, then what I do is, I will take this and this is a five cigar travel pack this is also perfect this is the one that i was saying you can find them with 30 50 cigars big boxes again it has that seal around you already has a sponge so your cigars are safe inside there put a boveda pack inside i normally just put a boveda pack on this side put this on top put my five six cigars sometimes if i'm lucky close it even has a little loop thing here so you can lock it. So if you wanna stay in a hotel, you can just lock it and leave it in your, in your room. I had this friend made this for me. Looks amazing, very nice. I've built this cigar travel pack after many flights, many mistakes, and narrow it down to these items over here. Everything here has multiple purposes. Cigar cutter, more than one, more than one cut. Lighter, obviously many uses. The draw tool, many uses. The case carries the cigars in here, but it also carries the cigars when I'm there. Many many uses. The case is strong. The color I chose it because it stands out. There was a reason for that. And I'm planning this year's travels with this kit. If you liked it, make sure you leave me a comment below. Tell me what you like to use as well and what cigars do you normally take with you. You might inspire me. I might add them to my pack. If you want to see what I, how I build this and what cigars I'm taking on my next travel, make sure you subscribe as this is going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be making that video because I'm going away and I will fill it in with the cigars and how I do it. I want to do a video about that. If you enjoyed this video, over here I leave you last week's video and over here the playlist of my cigar reviews. In the meantime, smoke less, smoke the best.